Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of my Mega Park. In this episode, um, I'm not going to add a roller coaster, but rather uh, a ride uh, once again inspired by a ride that I did last weekend in Toverland. Um, you may know these, uh, these kiddie rides on a rail where they sit on a horse that rocks back and forth. Uh, it's, uh, they're really gentle rides. Um, uh, I want to make uh, one of those um, and I also want to make the horse rock back and forth. So I will use the steeplechase track and I will use a little trick to make the horses uh, do what I want. Anyway, um, I think I will make the station somewhere over here and then uh, I will use the area over here to, uh, to build my ride. Anyway, um, I will just uh, start building now. First I'll do some landscaping and then uh, I'll uh, show you some uh, tricks uh, in a bit. Alright, um, well, uh, the trick that I'm going to use uh, can sadly only make the horses rock in uh, in straight parts, um, but yeah, uh, for for now that will be uh, that will be good enough. Now I will hide some chain lift pieces throughout the track, just to give these uh, cars some uh, some speed. Um, all right, so. What we're going to do now is uh, change the track to River Rapids. Okay, and then we'll change it to the Rapids kind of track. Then as soon as uh, one of the cars passes over this here, uh, it will be rocking back and forth. No, and the track is invisible now. Uh, so you won't actually see that there's uh, rapids under it. Right, as you can see now, the horses are rocking back and forth on this part. Um, in this area, I'll make some more uh, straight sections, just so uh, we can have more of those uh, parts over here, where the horses are uh, doing their little trick. Alright, I think this layout is uh, pretty cool. Now, um, I also like how there's three tracks uh, right next to each other uh, in this area. I think that'll look uh, pretty cool when it's done. Um, anyway, this ride, since it's a steeplechase and it uh, n doesn't meet the minimum requirements for the steeplechase stats, uh, it will have horrible stats and no one will actually want to ride it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I will make the track invisible by changing it to a uh, lift. That in turn uh, will make this ride a transport ride, which makes guests uh, ignore the stats. Uh, and they will ride it uh, regardless because it's uh, free. And yeah, that, that should make guests ride it again. I will make a track in the reverse direction um, just to make it look uh, like the horses are going around on a track. Okay, now that I've uh, built a track in the other direction, I can make the original track invisible. So now it's a lift. Actually, I'll first make the entrance and exit 
when now that I can still see where the station is. Alright, now I can make it invisible. Alright, and now it looks like the horses are going around on the on top of the pink track. And regardless of the stats that it will get, uh, guests will still ride it because uh, a lift is a transport ride. And that's the ride type it has right now. Okay, what I will do now is uh, I will uh, decorate the ride, uh, do some landscaping around it and uh, also make a station for, the, for this ride. Now, as you can see, this ride uh, has gotten horrible stats at 0.35 intensity rating. The excitement rating at 5.70 is quite high. That's mostly because of uh, the change of ride type to uh, lift. The nausea rating, uh, luckily, is also quite low. But yeah, the intensity rating uh, doesn't really matter to guests uh, if it's a transport ride and if it's free. So, when I open the ride, the, the guests should flock towards it. Also, since it's a new ride, and new rides are always uh, popular with guests. Now, I want to do something fun here, um, you might not know this, but uh, if you place a path and you put these uh, jumping fountains on top, you can actually make the path uh, invisible, but uh, the jumping fountains will then still animate. Yeah, I think this uh, this looks quite funny.
Alright, I think that will be enough building for today. So, just a quick recap of everything that was uh, built here. Uh, first, I made uh, well, I made this uh, station here. Um, I stacked some roofs here. And uh, I kind of like the way this it turned out. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, other than that, um, there's just this uh, track uh, going around here. Um, in this part, there's these uh, jumping fountains, which they uh, travel through with their little horses. Um, over here, I made these uh, big arches using these uh, jungle bushes. Um, yeah, I, I think they uh, really add a nice uh, touch to this part where the three, track, the three uh, tracks are next to each other. Um, yeah, I really like the way these arches look, so uh, yeah, quite proud of it. Um, Alright, here's a little turnaround section. Uh, I put just put some flowers uh, in the middle with some uh, of these pointed uh, rocks uh, sticking out. Uh, after that, they go around this uh, overgrown section again, through the jumping fountains, uh, under the arches again. And a little turn around and then they end up back in the station. I also put some uh, flowers next to it and uh, all that kind of stuff. I think I'll put a little bit more flowers here. And uh, after that, uh, I think we can take a ride on this, uh, on these, one of these horses. Alright, it's time uh, to take one of these horses uh, for a ride. I hope you uh, enjoyed watching me build, and I'll see you again in the next episode. See you later.